Hey guys, so it turns out OSHA does exist on Kerbin. Uh, they've just found the fun wheel, but I'm gonna have to do some, uh, you know, some persuading to, you know, make them go away. Anyways, yeah, after that successful experiment, the R&D team kind of decided they were deserving of a party. So they went together to a movie. They really liked that movie. On a unrelated note, however, uh, the new experiment is uh, something special uh, for Jebediah. You see, he didn't really agree with our decisions in the company. And, you know, we really took his ideas to heart and decided to... Uh, silence him. First test run didn't go as well, uh, turned out we needed some sort of control mechanism. Yeah, it turns out that uh, just strapping some rockets onto a uh, station, that's how we call it, yeah, on the station, isn't really stable. Um, yeah, so, so we gotta fix that real quick. So yeah, this time, more control, we put a control computer on top. And now we're gonna see how far we actually reach into space. Didn't really think about the aerodynamics uh, in hindsight. Was kind of, you know, kind of obvious that we needed more aerodynamics. But you know, launching two grain silos into the air, enough, enough rocket power would solve the issue, I guess. So yeah, doing well. Uh, we are turning in for our, uh, whatever you call it. I mean, I'm not a rocket scientist, am I really? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're turning for our um, orbit. Uh, maybe a bit too early, maybe not, I don't know. The GPS didn't really work, so I have no idea what our trajectory is. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it's still kind of tough to control. Uh, it's starting to bank a little more than I wanted to, but, you know, it's fine. I'm really surprised by the strength of those beams like it's holding an entire space station that's right space station uh, no idea what it's made of maybe stellanium who knows don't know so yeah yeah there we go yeah so eventually we just kind of lost our um, our control and we started to go tilting more and more and uh, yeah I think you can kind of fill in how how this ended up ending yeah so yeah anyways uh yeah so this happened as well uh turns out starting more rockets onto it uh with tape isn't always the solution anyways after um firing some of the r d team we figured out that uh using more of those construction struts actually fixes the issue i know right crazy right like it's the duct tape of kerbal anyways yeah we fixed that uh, we still have uh, some added rock cuts on the centerpiece. Uh, we'll see how that actually works out because it's right on top of the house, so I have no clue. And you see, we're trying to figure out what what all the buttons actually do. Just matching some random buttons on the console always works out fine, doesn't it? Right. So the boost is almost halfway. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, we we've got enough thrusters really to carry up and us into space and beyond. Don't really need them. But, you know, looks cool, looks cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised we're not burning that much fuel. Yeah, so anyways, we're almost about to uh, fire our center thrusters and drop our boosters. Let's see how that actually works out. I'm surprised that, oh, all oh, right. Right, right. Right, so that didn't work out. But I'm still curious to what will happen to this house right now. It's actually not going as fast as I thought it would. It's kind of... Wow. I mean, that's... That's as strong as house. Not gonna lie. See, it even made a door for us. Small horned roof for smokestack, but that's fine. I mean, damn. Alright guys, this is it. Jebediah is set in his house and we are lifting off. There are really silent these rockets i don't know why i have no idea why we're not hearing any rocket engine sounds um no sound equals no power but uh yeah it's working we're just lifting off it's just like in a movie i mean just like our original id yeah that's what it is so yeah we're just about to drop off our boosters and yeah going into the last stage of our journey really uh, not that there were many stages, <laughs> but 
But anyways, we're, we're going to have to tilt and then set Jebediah into his permanent um, retirement home. Because he's definitely going to love this. If not, well, too bad for him because he is never going to escape. Alright, we're all set. We're in orbit. And our rocket stage now has to decouple, return to Earth. So the Jeb really has no way to return home. And spread his blasphemy. There we go, Jeb. Goodbye. Let's go back into orbit. <laughs>